Hello everyone and welcome to episode 26 of our Fable 2 adventure and oh boy I have quite the update for you. So in between episodes I actually took on a quest on my own called T-O-B-Y aka Toby because it is a quest that involves being in the town of Bloodstone for and I'm not allowed to show that city off because well if you know you know but basically what he does is he pulls you into this scam where he has you do a bunch of evil stuff and at the end of it you pretty much have to get rid of him and another thing that happened during that quest is I was attacked by bandits in the town and every now and then whenever I got attacked I would get like these puzzle pieces on paper and I finally completed it and unlocked a new quest called The Hit. Apparently someone is trying to take me out and I'm not gonna stand for that. So we are on our way to the location right now to, you know, deal with this situation. You know, we're gonna take out the guy who's taking us down before they try to take us out. Which is actually impossible. I've actually never done this quest. I don't know if it's like some DLC thing that I just happened to randomly get. But I know this is my first time actually doing this, so we are going to find out together what exactly is going on. Ooh, okay. They are being very straightforward, it seems. I can hear that they have some people shooting me. Okay, I'm supposed to kill someone here, but I don't see him. Um, hey! Don't shoot me. I'm supposed to shoot you. Um, yeah, let's get this guy up here. Uh, oh. Um, why can't I shoot him? Do I really have to walk all the way up there? That's lame. I should have been able to take the others out. But yes, we are going to get rid of this hitman. Because I am tired of him sending his men after me. I do say this is an interesting little fort. What, is there guys up there too? How many more of them are there? I will challenge all of them. Oh, I actually hear a gargoyle somewhere. So maybe this is a part of the base game and I just ignore it for some reason? Oh, uh, who knows though? So I need to get back around over here. Oh, there he is. I heard him screaming at me. Now, where is this hitman? I will find him, and I will defeat him! Is that him? Uh, is it? Oh, that was him! He's running! We got him on the defensive! Uh, what about Lucian? Are you guys working for him? Okay, okay. Everybody, calm down. Oh, they actually got me there. I wasn't paying attention to my health, really. Plus, these highwaymen hit really fast. So let's go ahead and electrocute everybody real quick. And get ourselves a healing potion while they're all being electrocuted. And... Is that it? Huh. I guess Lucian hired them to come after me. That was a pretty short quest, which kind of makes up for the Toby one that I had to, to do behind the scenes. A lot shorter than I thought it would be, actually. But hey, we 
took down our contract. Man, I wonder if I could actually read what it says. Lucian's contract. The contract Lucian signed ordering your assassination at the hands of the Highwayman's Guild. You can display it. Okay. So it is literally just, hey, this guy left my spire. Go take him out. Well, I guess since, you know, we finished that pretty easily... I can actually take on another quest so we can, you know, keep things rolling. Okay, so the second quest I want to do is called the Treasure Island of Doom. You pretty much meet a pirate that gives you a little story at the Bloodstone Inn. And he says, hey, go meet me at this little sinkhole or something like that. And you pretty much just go to it. Okay, so here we are in the sinkhole. We have to find the ghost of Captain Dread. We all to enter the domain of Captain Dread. Ah. Living ain't welcome in my crew. Well, you know what? We're dead inside. Does that count? He laughed, so I'm gonna take that as a yes. Nah, we'll be fine. Is this his little chamber he's hiding in? Ah, a horror, mateys. I am a pirate, just like you, mateys. Ah, go, 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 go. Anyways, have a little bit of lightning to go. Um, alright. Do I have to, like, shock them again? Yeah, it looks like I'm gonna have to. I have to defeat the ghost pirates. Which, honestly, does not seem hard at all. Especially since I'm doing this slow time combo. Uh, man, how many ghosts are there? I didn't think there would be this many. Uh, I hope I defeated the captain at least. He kind of just disappeared. Uh, you, you want to join your friend? Uh, I guess he does. Uh, find the ghost of Captain Dread. All right. I can 100% do that. Nah, we'll be fine. We're a hero. Uh, let's get that door open, though. Come on out, Captain Dread. I know you're hiding somewhere. But you can't hide forever. We are coming for that pirate booty. Oh, hey, treasure chest. See, I told you we'd get ourselves some booty. Ah, oh, it's locked. Ah, eh, that's fine. Maybe he has a key in this? Yeah. No, that's the hero of Oakvale. Um, come on. Is there a key somewhere? That's a pie. Ooh, maybe this one. No? Um, huh. I said I have to find a key, right? If I were a pirate, where would I hide the key? Oh. That makes sense. It's just right there. But we can open his chest now. Does this mean he'll actually come out and fight me for his stuff? Because I'm alright with that. Oh, it's a lever. Ooh, am I gonna go on a boat? Can I take his boat? Ooh, that would be so cool. I want to be a proud captain. I can hire my own crew. We can sail the seven seas. Or just cruise around and see where we land. But yes. Okay. Well, too bad. I'm taking it. And there's nothing you can do about it. This boot and that pirate booty is mine. Okay, I have to search the ship now. Is he actually going to be on the boat? 
I hope so. Our dog's already here waiting for us. Ah! It's called the Maria? That is a very pirate-like name for a ship. And I will gladly accept. Just like they're accepting this lightning! Yeah? You know what? Summon all the guys you want. It will not stop me from electrocuting everything. The more there are, it's just the merrier, you know? After all, I'm getting all of this experience regardless. It's just gonna be a long time before I can actually level anything up. Because all the level 5 stuff is super expensive. Uh, okay. Let's give him another round. Uh, oh. Uh, are you the only one? Hmm, I guess so. Captain Dread! I will take your boat. And... Huzzah! I'm gonna be the new captain. Not even Luffy can stop me. Alright, Captain Dredd's map. It shows where all of his, you know, treasure is. I should go accept it, right? After all, we've rightfully earned it. Okay, so I guess it drove me here on its own, and I have to find ten pieces of treasure. Uh, man, that's probably going to be a little bit difficult, if I'm being honest. But it shouldn't be too bad, right? I mean, how hard could it be to find treasure? Ah, speaking of treasure... Here is our first one. Oh, something's out there. I can hear them chasing me. Um, let me... Th think now what could be chasing me out here ah beetles of course they're beetles uh you know i'm not worried now where else would there be treasure it might take a bit to actually find it all i'm not too worried about fighting really I just want to grab whatever treasure we can and get out of here. Ooh, there. Another piece of treasure to satisfy our hoard. Is it going to be more gold? Yeah, I think that's what most of these chests are going to be full of. What else would a pirate hoard besides, like, you know, maybe some magic weapon? Or just weapons in general? So, yeah. So far, I'm actually pretty, uh, disappointed in the treasure choices. But we can't complain too much, because, you know, it's free stuff. Now then. Uh, why is there beetles everywhere? I don't really want to fight them. Um, oh, missed one. Um, you know what? This looks like a spot where you would hide treasure, right? Uh, is that where my dog's taking me? Oh, no. Right here. Uh, does this count as treasure? I feel like they would try to bury something, right? Okay, that 100% counts. Uh, what about these water? Falls. Maybe something's behind one of them? Ah, treasure! I do like that this is very pirate-like. Because, you know, it gives us the actual feel of going out and, you know, finding the hidden treasure. Does this? It does count! Alright! I think we are on a roll. If the last five are as easy as they've been, then we should be alright. 
you know, take him down while we're here. Because we don't need any of that. Um, ah, more beetles. Uh, if I jump down here to grab that key, that counts as treasure, right? Uh, no. Huh. That's actually a really bizarre decision. But if it doesn't count, I can't really complain. Oh my goodness, these beetles are just everywhere. Like, they followed me out of that cave just to come at me. But, you know, they had their fun. Uh, looks like I can go in here for this treasure. That'll be 6 out of 10, right? Or is this our 7? Yeah, this counts as 6. So, our next one should probably be... Ah, there! See, we are a natural at finding treasure. And I heard something move. Was it the boat? Please tell me it was only the boat. Oh, it's those bugs. That's what I need, right? Oh! Okay. Wait, how'd you get up there? Um, you know what? Not my problem. Let's go ahead and hop down. I feel like maybe if we swim around in the water? Yeah, swimming in the water sounds like a good idea. Because it looks like I could get around this. Ooh. Alright, that is 8 out of 10. But the real question is... What about the last two? Okay, so I did find the ninth one. It's in this area where we had to jump down into. I don't know how I missed that the first time, but this is number nine. So one more to go after this, and that should be a mission complete, if I say so myself. Okay, it looks like I was actually right to check the water because Hidden behind this was exactly the treasure chest that we were looking for. Now we have to go back to Salty Jack. You found the old dead sea dog. Aye, I knew you would, my lad. Finished him off for good and stole his ship too. <laughs> the Marianne. Never thought I'd see her. And count myself living. Aye, you'll be a legend among pirates for this, you will. And you proved Salty Jack ain't gone soft in the head yet. I can go back to my port without fear of ridicule. I thank ye. Ah, see? We got him a boat. I'm kind of sad that I don't get to keep the boat, but it's fine. We could probably get another one. But with that, that pretty much completes this episode. So if you guys enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. And I will catch you all in the next one. Bye bye